Welcome back to the Mazex Smooth Cafe. Today, we're going to explore the unique software Mazex provides for gear hobbing, milling, and skiving. For these specialized operations, Mazex has created a series of machines designated as auto gear machines. These special hybrid machines have ultra precision rotary scale technology for exceptional timing between the milling spindle and the turning C-axis spindle for precise gear hobbing and skiving. With a few basic options, any of our mill turn machines with a smooth X control can do basic hobbing or gear milling. However, due to the precision required, skiving can only be done on the auto gear version of these machines. To facilitate programming these features, Mazek has built a set of custom macros. G320 to 322 are for gear skiving with a spindle mounted skiving tool. Skiving can form splines internally or externally. Both spur and helico gears can be formed on either head one or head two of a horizontal AG machine. G310 to 312 are for gear hobbing with a spindle mounted hobbing tool. Hobbing can create both spur and helical gears and can be done on either head one or head two. G304 to 308 are for gear milling. Gear milling is for using a standard ball end mill for most external spur and helical gears. The graphical nature of the Smooth X control allows for custom graphical input screens greatly simplifying the use of these functions. For example, Let's do a skiving operation on the inside of this part on the second spindle of an I-200 STAG machine. A gear cutting can only be done in a G-code program, so we need to call it as a subroutine from the Mazatrol program used to prep the part. Creating a skiving operation requires three G-code calls. The first is G320. Here, we answer a series of simple questions about the setup such as spindle used, internal or external, module, number of teeth, and other basic information describing the gear and the skiving tool. Next, we need a G321. This describes cutting conditions like tool number, direction of rotation, RPM, various feed rates and required offsets, clearances, coolant, and so on. And finally, we need a G322 which sets the depth of cut of each pass. Up to 26 cuts can be set here, but if you need more, simply call G322 again. That's all there is to it. We're ready to run the skiving operation on our part. Using the macros G310, 311, and 312 makes hobbing just as easy to program. As with skiving, graphical input screens are provided. Simply answer the prompted questions, making sure to enter all three G codes. Just slightly more complicated is smooth gear milling. For this, there are five different G codes to enter requiring much more information. I should note that only smooth gear milling will give you a simulation showing the actual gear teeth. Both skiving and hobbing will show accurate tool movements, but the teeth are not developed in the simulation. When using a hob or a skiving tool, feed hold and reset should be avoided. Instead, we provide an escape button on the face of the control. Pressing this button escapes the cut in a synchronized manner, avoiding damage to the part or tool. After using this escape sequence, you can simply restart the cut. The timing of the gear is not lost. With this step-by-step -step HMI software, operators can easily create a program on the control to produce parallel axis gears and splines faster and more precisely than ever before. From all of us here at Mazak, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time 
at the Mazak Smooth Cafe. Take care.